Alrighty, joining me now is a UFC middleweight fighter who takes on Ramazan Emiv at UFC Fight Night 118 in Dansk, Poland on Saturday afternoon. That's right, in less than 24 hours, this man will be stepping into the cage and uh, really appreciate him taking the time this close to the fight. He is smiling, Sam Alvey. Sam, great to catch up. It's been a little bit. Yeah, thanks for having me back on. We're back with you. Yes, really appreciate it, uh, and, and as I said, this close to the fight, uh, again, 24 hours from now, the fight will be over, and, uh, you know, usually fighters, as I said just now off air, you know, oftentimes uh, fighters aren't really wanting to do interviews this close, so thank you again, and uh, we'll be pretty quick, uh, mostly we'll just be talking about uh, the unfortunate weight cut and, and uh, missing weight, very unfortunately, although, you know, props to you, because you came close, you cut, what, 34 pounds in 10 days, is that what it was? Uh, let's see. When I got when I got the call, I was two twenty seven, uh, and uh, I I was oh, so it's more than that. It really was. What's that? Oh no, forty three. Yeah, mathematics uh, at, at the oh, finest. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I got the call. I was in the middle of practice. So I stepped on the scale and I said, "You know what? I can do this. I can do this. I can do this." And uh, it was just a bad bad scale read, reading. So when I saw what I asked, it was ooh, it's going to be a little harder than I thought. Uh, and uh, uh, but I was still very confident I could do it. I made all the right adjustments. I worked, I worked with my team. I, I've never ran so much in my entire life, um, but I, I really did everything humanly possible to make this weight. Uh, when I find, when I, I got here, uh, I, I weighed one ten or two ten, and uh, I, I was still confident. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a day of cutting, but it's going to be okay. I'm going to make it. And then the eventual cut was about twenty two pounds. Uh, or should have been. Instead, it turned out being 19 pounds or 20 pounds, so somewhere in there. And you say you were confident that you would make the weight. You did everything humanly possible. What ultimately did go wrong? I mean, we hear time and time again, fighters' bodies just sort of stop cutting. The, the weight just stops go, coming off. Is that what happened here? I it, it, Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, I started cutting yesterday afternoon at about 2, two o'clock at 2.30. Uh, and I cut throughout the night. I, I cut all night long, uh, and then I, I woke up. Real, well, I got up to cut again. I took a, I took about a, I don't know, a hour and a half. I tried to sleep, but it didn't happen. An hour and a half lay there, and uh, uh, I, I just it didn't didn't bounce, start coming off. I got up, started cutting again at about uh, 4 a.m. and uh, I, I did two hours of, of bathtub work and uh, I, just, I just stopped cutting. It, I stopped losing weight. Was it a tougher cut than you anticipated it would be? I felt like garbage the entire time and that's about what I anticipated. Uh, I, I, it's the biggest regret of my career right now because I, I've, oh, wow. I've got over 50 fights and I've never missed weight. Uh, and shoot, I fought at 170 twice. Um, it just at at the end of the day, it, my my body my body gave up. Um, but um, the, thankfully, ran, uh, ran, the the ran, ram the uh, took, it accepted the fight still, and um, yeah, and we're going to go out and put out a heck of a good show tomorrow. Was there any possibility of pulling out or, or the UFC themselves canceling the fight because you were too dehydrated or, or was there any chance of, of this fight not happening? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, the, the UFC was from the beginning. They, they said, uh, we want you to be safe. Uh, anything you need, talk to us, be open with us, and then we'll be open with you. Um, and, and so they've been in my corner the whole time and um, it, it was that the fight not happening uh, it was never a possibility unless I didn't accept the fight to begin with. Sure. Um, so you said that this is right now the biggest career regret. Um, can you sort of elaborate on that? I mean, as you said, you've had 50 fights or so. Um, you're, you're a vet. And, you know, do you wish, as of, you know, as of right now, do you wish you were back home? And did you, do you ultimately wish you never took this fight? No, I, I, I don't regret taking the fight. I, I don't want to be back home. I, I love fighting. Uh, I, I wasn't going to get another fight this year unless someone else backed out. Um, and I was, uh, I, I, I don't regret it. I, I would have tried to change something somewhere else uh, along the line um, to, to, to make the weight or, or just give me a second crack at cutting it. 
it just I it's disrespectful to miss weight, and I, I didn't mean any disrespect. Uh, it, it's a big part of my job. I always joke. Uh, I, I I'd fight for free, but you're going to pay me to cut weight. <laughs> and uh, this time, and you know, my purse is going to show it. I'm losing a lot of money because I didn't cut enough weight. So what what exactly do you mean then by this was this is right now as we speak the biggest career regret if you, if you want to be still fighting if if you don't regret that what is it that you re- regret is it just the fact that hey it never looks good when a fighter misses weight or or what exactly do you regret I I regret that I missed weight uh, fighters shouldn't miss weight we shouldn't we we got camps we got we got people we have made arrangements uh, we shouldn't miss weight. Uh, and I did, and it's, it's I'm in, I'm embarrassed. I've never done it before. It'll never happen again. Um, and uh, yeah, it, I'm I'm gonna have to try and learn from it. You know, if if ever I have to make this kind of cut in this, this you know short a time again, I, I will probably say no to that. Uh, because God, it was such a hard two weeks. Yeah, I, I bet. Um, ultimately, though, I feel like people are letting you get away with this. I mean, when when someone like John Lineker misses weight every other fight, or even Kelvin Gastelum, you know, once in a while, Johnny Hendricks, you know, it, it's hard to let them just get away and, and no big deal. But here, it's not like people are calling, oh, Sam Alvey's all of a sudden a big middleweight, let's move him up to 205. People understand that this was... A, a cut that for many people was unrealistic, and you came damn close. And I think people, more than anything, are just giving you props. I, and I'm so surprised by that. Uh, the internet can be a, such a cruel place, <laughs> and for the most part, uh, they, they've been supporting me. They, they've been impressed with how close I came, um, which I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be let off the hook that easy. But uh, I, I, I'm, I'm very thankful for for my fans. And for the the people that are the understanding where I'm coming from, did this cut you you weighed in three pounds over you you weighed in at one eighty nine did the cut leave you entirely drained? Of course, I mean I'm sure you were at least somewhat dehydrated. I don't think any human alive can cut thirty pounds or so in ten days and not be. But did you stop cutting before you? you know, almost couldn't do anything because you knew, okay, it's not coming off. There's nothing else that I can do. Did you stop cutting before it had a, a terrible effect on you? Or, or did, as we sort of touched on earlier, did you literally just stop cutting because you couldn't? I, I stopped cutting because I, I stopped giving water. You can't squeeze blood out of a tournament. And Lord knows I tried. Uh, uh, and I, I feel great right now. I feel like I could fight, fight, right now if I need, need to be. Uh, I've rehydrated. I'm eating. I'm still eating. Um, I, I'm going to make sure I'm in the best possible shape I can be tomorrow. Um, and I, I'll, be, I'll be ready. I am. Just remind me because of the time difference. When? How many hours ago did you weigh in? Sure, I don't know. What time was it? About uh, 12 maybe? 10, so it would have been about 10 o'clock, about 12 hours ago. Okay, and and right now, how much do you weigh? Do you know? I, I do not know. But uh, I, I imagine, uh, you know, quite, quite a bit heavier than 189. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure quite a bit heavier than 189. Yes. Um, it, yeah, I, I started cutting at 207, so I have right. to imagine I'm, I'm at at least 207 by now. Right. If the fight was in the United States and you didn't have a across you know across the world travel and plane ride to to do do you think you could have made the cut uh, made the cut you know i i was thinking about that and I, i'll bet you i would have i i retained so much water on these long flights uh, i came out as early as i could but again i, I don't have much time uh but uh i i i think i could have i think my weight would have been a little different um i, I don't think i would have retained so much water is there any reason you didn't ask for a catch weight? Maybe of one one ninety one nine, you know, one ninety five would have been pretty nice. I would imagine. Is there any reason you didn't? Was it just that you didn't want you, you know, as you said, you, you feel embarrassed that you didn't make the way, and you always do. Is it sort of does does that sort of mentally get get to you and 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 feel okay if I ask for a catch weight, I, I'm not doing my job per se. Is there any specific reason you didn't opt to to try to get a catch weight? When the fight was off, I immediately asked for five pounds. 
I said, hey, any chance I can get it at, at 190? Um, and uh, the, the Russians, the, their team said no. Um, oh, wow. They said they didn't want to have any sort of catch weight. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And they, I respect that. It's their call. That I know their fighters are uh, on the smaller side of the 185 scale, and I, I can understand them, them not wanting to give up an, an advantage like that. Does this weight cut ultimately affect your performance tomorrow, or yeah, I guess tomorrow for you too, because you have yet to uh, sleep? Uh, uh, or do you think you'll be rehydrated enough, and you are already that th this really it will be all behind you by fight by fight, you know, day? I think it'll all be behind me. Uh, I, I feel good right now. I just went on a walk. Uh, beautiful out here in uh, Dantic, and uh, I, I'm I feel great. I, I'm still eating, still hydrating, still ready for action. And here's a, sort of an interesting question. If this fight was in the U.S. where the the commissions are, especially California, because you, I'm sure you know about the com California commission's new, uh, you know, 10 point, uh, I, I think that's what it's called, the 10 point weight cutting sort of uh, policy they have in place now, where if you're a certain percent over by, you know, by fight, and, you know, uh, the first day of fight week, they might suggest you move up. Do you feel like this? They might have actually pulled you from this fight if this was in California or another U.S. state. Uh, I, I'll never fight in a state that has that rule. Uh, on on the best cut I've ever had, I, I break that rule every every time. When I fought Talis Latis, I, I weighed two fifteen when I stepped in the octagon. Uh, Rashad Evans was about two ten. Um, so no, I states that have have goofy rules, bad rules. Like that, I'll never, I won't fight in those states because I, I can't, I can't keep my weight low enough. Very interesting. Now, a question a colleague of mine from Bloody Elbow wanted me to ask you was, what was worse, this weight cut or fighting Paul Bradley in the rain? <laughs> I love that rain, rain memory. Uh, <laughs> so, so the weight cut was worse, but I love that, that rain memory. Alrighty, well, Sam, again, really appreciate the time. Before I let you go, um, just, uh, you know, predict the fight. How do you get past Ramazan Emiv tomorrow night at, or, or tomorrow afternoon if you're in the States at UFC Fight Night 118 in Dansk, Poland? Uh, he and I, we're going to trade. We, we are. Um, I, I think he's probably got an advantage on the ground, but I've got an advantage on not letting him get to the ground. And uh, we both hit hard. We both have quick hands, and, uh, but we've both been tested before. So I, I see, I see each other hitting each other a lot. Alrighty. Well, before I let you go, let everybody know where they can find you on social media, and if there's anybody you'd like to thank or give a shout out to, the floor is yours. Yeah, hit me up. I'm at Smiling Sam. Twitter, Instagram, find the best still thing. Everything I do online is I'm at Smiling Sam. So hit me up. I love talking to everyone, uh, and I do really try to talk to everyone. 